for that. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has been trying to cool the reactors in a stable manner. The focus has been on repairing the ones with the most damage. As work progresses, they say they are now attempting to set up cooling systems for fuel storage pools in reactors with less damage. Spent fuel rods are being stored in pools at each of the four reactor buildings. The number two and number three reactor buildings already have cooling systems, and the water in these pools has been cooled to below 40 degrees Celsius. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency has instructed the operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, to give details of the installation plan by Wednesday. TEPCO has also been uh, told to disclose the earthquake resistance of the new systems, as well as measures to prevent water leakage. The utility plans to start operating the cooling systems in late July at the number four reactor pool and in uh, early August, that is, at the number one pool. Meanwhile, TEPCO says it temporarily stopped cooling one of its reactors at the Fukushima plant on Wednesday to replace a damaged plastic hose. It says the reactor's temperature rose by seven degrees Celsius while the work was being carried out, but that the cooling system remained stable. TEPCO said it stopped cooling the number five reactor at 6.30 a.m. local time. It swapped out a vinyl hose that feeds seawater into the cooling system. The utility says it was concerned the hose could have ruptured because it was touching the edge of a concrete structure. TEPCO says cooling resumed shortly before 11 a.m. The utility had been checking all hoses linked to the number five reactor after a leak early this month forced it to stop the cooling process for more than three hours. Officials in Fukushima Prefecture have urged cattle farmers not to give their animals feed left outside since the nuclear day accident. On Wednesday, prefectural officials handed out leaflets warning about such feed to about 250 farmers taking part in a cattle auction. The farmers were also asked to pay attention to the results of screening by the prefecture of corn and rice plants to be harvested in the near future and used as feed. The move comes after it became to light that a farmer in Minamisoma City had been feeding his animals straw kept outside after trouble began at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The cattle were found to be contaminated with radioactive materials. I don't know what to do. It's not just beef that's affected. All kinds of foods might be in a difficult situation. More than 270 calves were sold at the auction at an average price of about $4,200, down about 12 percent from last month. Beef from a cattle farm near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant that was found to be contaminated with radioactive material has been tracked down. The meat was sold at 21 stores in eight prefectures. Radioactive cesium exceeding government safety levels was detected in 11 head of cattle shipped last Friday from a farm in Minamisoma City in Fukushima Prefecture to a meat processing facility in Tokyo. Officials from Tokyo and other local governments conducted a follow-up survey on another six head of cattle that have been shipped from the same farm to facilities in Tokyo and the Tochigi Prefecture in May and June. They found that beef from the cattle had been sold by wholesalers to meat shops and restaurants in 11 prefectures. Some 370 kilograms of beef may have already been consumed. Tests on beef that was left on Seoul show that it contained radioactive cesium four to seven times the carbon safety level of 500 becquerels per kilogram. Officials say that the unsold beef has been withdrawn from shops to prevent it from being consumed. They plan to continue testing the unsold beef and to investigate where the meat might have ended up.
Japanese power companies are expected to apply the country's nuclear regulator for final tests of their reactors. The companies, however, have not yet received consensus from the local governments to operate. Hokkaido Electric Power Company and Kansai Electric Power Company have been criticized for running their reactors on a trial basis for too long. The trial run usually lasts for about one month. This occurs during the final phase of regular checkups by the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency before commercial operations are resumed. The consent of local communities is normally required. However, the two reactors have been undergoing trial runs for four months since regular checkups effectively ended after the March 11th disaster in eastern Japan. The chairman of the Nuclear Safety Commission of Japan, Haruki Madarame, said on Monday that this is not a good thing. He urged the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency to do something about it. <laughs> If a trial run is prolonged without just reason, it may become a legal issue. We will conduct final tests on the reactors immediately after receiving applications from the operators. And in the U.S., the nuclear safety regulatory body will recommend enhancing disaster preparedness at the country's nuclear power plants in a report to be publicized on Wednesday. Interim report obtained by NHK is the Nuclear Regulatory Commission's response to the Fukushima accident. It urges a review every 10 years to disaster preparedness at all nuclear plants nationwide. It proposes that backup power be secured at every plant to ensure at least eight hours of power in case of blackouts. The report says that operators of the same type of reactor as those at the Fukushima Daiichi plant should confirm that the reactor's venting valves are in proper working order. Venting is aimed at reducing pressure inside the reactor containment vessel. And the report also notes that safety measures at U.S. nuclear plants have been voluntary. It recommends more systematic safety standards to prepare for the unexpected. Here we are, OPPD, Fort Calhoun Nuclear Power Plant. Just got out of court. Gave me a fine, $25 plus court costs. Now we just tried to go up in OPPD. They stopped us. We got pounced pretty hard. Had to hide the camera. They're putting up pumps and all kinds of things. Very nervous. Now they say they put up a new berm, new levee. It's irrelevant. If you look at my old pictures, it was flooded out before, and it's still flooded out. I'm convinced there's radiation leaking out of this power plant. It is crippled, and it is a problem. Stay safe. Be prepared. So let's see. I'm out. At OPPD, Fort Calhoun Nuclear Power Plant, they're definitely preparing for something really big. They're expecting a lot more water to come. You can tell by all these pumps they're putting out. I managed to snap this picture as we were driving through. One thing that I couldn't get is they're storing food, water, and fuel. They have all kinds of containers. There's a lot of activity at the OPPD Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant. There's definitely something big that they're not telling us about. And another thing that I couldn't snap a picture of is the workers. They seem to be wearing these weird suits. They look like beekeeper suits, but they're not beekeeper suits. I'm not sure what they are. There could definitely be some radiation leakage out of this plant. Be safe, be prepared, and stay away from this water. And don't forget, now there's another nuclear power plant that's in trouble. North Carolina nuclear facility leaking radioactive water. Not good. Be prepared. 
You need food, water, and fuel. So I see. I'm out. Here we are. We're down the street from OPPD and there's massive flooding. All this water was not here the last time I was here. Like I said, we are very close to OPPD and it is completely flooded out. So let's see, I'm out.